their debut to her. Hello there. So, what I have here is a very old concert that was broadcast on BBC Radio in 1989, and it is really nasty. The audio is suffering from a very bad kind of background whistle, quite high pitch, and it's, it's too loud as well, as you can see. So I've already loaded it up inside Audacity, and I firstly need to just normalise this. So the clip's already been cut down to size, so this is the duration. So the first thing to do is to go and select everything, go to Effect, and then look for Loudness Normalisation. And I'm just going to do the default. Okay, so that's been applied. Now, what you have to do is you have to export. It's very important that you export before you try to work on this again. So I could try to apply a notch filter to it, but it won't stick basically. It won't work. It'll, it, it, the preview will work, but when I try to do it, it won't work. So I export and you can see I've been having a play already. So let's call this new and save. And then I'll need to shortly import this back in again so it's fresh and it's the right loudness. I will then start to analyse the sound to see if I can remove the radio whistle. Okay, so that's been exported. I now need to um, open, basically. So I'm just going to go into here and take new. Okay, so this is the new. And just to show you what it's like, So you can see what I'm dealing with, it's pretty nasty. Let's try a bit of a louder one. I need to get rid of that awful noise. So I'm going to do a couple of things here. I'm going to analyse and I'm going to do a plot spectrum. And I'm looking for a peak at a high frequency. So as you can see in here, it's saying it's around 9000 hertz. It's kind of peaking and then dropping down. So this, this I think, is the noise. That we're hearing. So let's close that and I will now do effect and I will look for notch filter. And that's good, it's already set to 9000, but it could be set to anything. So let's set it to 2000 and just listen. So that got rid of some aspects of the music, but obviously you could still hear the noise. So let's go right up to 750. Can't hear it still. Let's jump up to 9000. Sounds pretty good. And this value here is to do with the range. So the Q, I think it starts to sound a bit choppy if it's um, lower. So let's just go I. So you lose fidelity, don't you? So let's go one and try again. And higher, so this will be a smaller width. I go right out with the I think one's one sounds good. Okay, so I cancel out of there, now I need to set all of it, and go back in and apply the effect. So back into here, and then we'll just go OK. So that's doing it across this whole recording. And let's go to allow part.
So as you can see, that's worked its magic and something I can actually listen to now rather than ignore. So the original recording was made on a very uh, poor quality cassette tape anyway. It was a Memorex um, yellow one, I think. And um, that would have been done on a radio cassette recorder. It didn't have anything flashy. Um, it was automatic level recording as well. So it would have um, moved about a bit if it heard anything loud, that kind of used to have an annoying effect of lowering the volume and then you'd like hear it kind of creeping back up again in, in the recording. So um, so that's the kind of equipment that it was recorded on. Make sure that you export your finished track. So I'm going to call this complete and save. And then you know where you are. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope this has taught you something that could be useful to your handling of old recordings that you might have knocking about. Please like and subscribe and I will do some more videos in the future. Bye for now.